YouTube, it's Bella. Hope you're having a blessed day. And I am here with a Sons of Anarchy vlog. I'm really excited about that. And it is so good to be back in the whole Sons of Anarchy season. It's one of the best things about fall for me. It's going to be always one of the best fall memories. However, all good things must come to an end. And this is the final season. I'm really sad about that. Just remember, all things come to an end, good and bad. It's a lesson we learned from this. And um, so here it goes with uh, it's kind of bittersweet. But here's the first episode of the final season of Sons of Anarchy called Black Widow. Disclaimer um, there's no, it is an adult show, and I am going to be using some strong language and talking about some themes that might make you squeamish due to being violent. It's a violent show. Um, some themes that might make you squeamish or terms that might offend you, and if it does, I'm sorry, there's no way around it. It's Sons of Anarchy. It's badass. So, like my shirt. Sons of Anarchy. I love this shirt. So, okay, let me get, let me get right into it. Um, the episode is called Black Widow, and it is the first episode of the final season. And what happens in this episode is that Jax is seen beating up this man and in, he does is he carves the SWAT sticker over here on him and when he carves that what happens is he man passes out and he gets a piece of cloth and removes the man's teeth and he offers them to this white supremacist who's played by Marilyn Manson by the way yeah just just saying, just saying. so what happened is that um, Jax gives it to him, and he's like, I'm doing this as a truce between the right supremacists and the MC. Uh, there wasn't, I don't know if there was any beef while we were away, I guess there must have been, like, on the streets, but he said, you know, everything is fine, don't worry, like, it seemed like they ended in good terms, and the DA called him, and when the DA called him, um, the African-American woman who was, like, determined to, like, destroy the sons, um, wanted to make the deal with Tara, that DA, the DA... Um, opens herself up to him and she says, you know, I lost a son and a nephew to gang violence and that's why I was so dead set on this. And, um, I can't put any of these crimes I put you in jail for. He was, he's in jail because, um, last season he offered to give up his own freedom so Tara could walk free and it was like a whole mess. But you could look up, um, my last review on that to, from last season to no more. But then she lets him go from jail and Gemma picks him up and... She said that the funeral was quiet and respectful, and you see a headstone, it's a really small headstone, it's a Tara Eternals, or Tara Tella, I'm not sure what it said, but it was Tara's headstone, and you see Unser putting blue flowers. And Jack's like, Mom, I don't know what I would do without you, and what happened was, she feels kind of guilty about that, but anyway, I wrote on a piece of paper, so I couldn't remember all of this. I'm only human. Um, so then what happens is... Okay, so, okay, Gemma and Nero are missing each other a lot, and everyone else seems to see that, like, but except for the two of them, they're like, you know, they're kind of, how do I put this, they're kind of like trying to avoid the topic, the subject, whatever, and, um, oh yeah, Gemma does feel guilty about killing Tara, but she feels she did what was best for the club, she did it because she felt that she told J Jax uh, she gave Jax to the cops, but Jax turned himself in. So that's what happened. And, oh yeah, Juice is in hiding and Gemma's helping him. They're helping each other right now. And what happened, Wendy, when it comes to Wendy, um, Wendy, she wants to help with the boys, and Thomas and Abel, and what happens with that is she, uh, she Gemma, She's in rehab and she comes out. This kind of got mixed up for a while, sorry. She's in rehab, she comes out. She sees Juice in her apartment. She confronts Gemma. She's like, Gemma, I want to be in my, the kid's life. Even if he doesn't call me mom, it's okay. I just want to like make sure that they're okay, the two boys. And um, she sees Jax and they talk about it. He's like, work it out with Gemma. And she goes to stay with Gemma. Unser comes in the apartment a few times and she's trying to hide the fact that Juice is there from Unser. So Juice is hiding. So yeah, that's what happens with that with Wendy. Um, what happens with Gemma is, she says something kind of crazy. Oh yeah, so then Nero, uh, what, there, what Nero does is, Nero, Gemma's boyfriend, the pimp. Nero, Nero is the middleman, basically, between the Chinese and the Spanish with Alvarez, the guy named Alvarez. 
Um, they want to con um, extend condolences to Jax and say that they did not kill Tara. Remember these words, they did not kill Tara. Now we know that Gemma killed Tara. So they wanted to do that and Jax like, let's have a party, a welcoming home party. And there's going to be strippers and there's going to be escorts and it's going to be everything. And he's like, well, I'll tell you guys, like, I don't really feel comfortable. And he's like, well, if it doesn't look right, you know, that's fine. You can leave. So they leave. And, no, I'm sorry, they, they go to the party, they do not leave, they feel right, they stay there, the Chinese, a lot of Chinese go there. And, um, what happens at the party, craziness ensues. Okay, oh, pause for a minute. They're also having some beef with this gang, which is a hood rat gang, and they're not really an MC, they're just a hood rat gang, because Bobby Elvis is looking for someone who had a blue impala, and they're like, we're not gonna help you, and they're like, kind of having some beef with this hood rat gang. Back to the party, and this is how it ends. Gemma goes to the party, and there's strippers there, and he's like, "So, will your the Chinese man's like, will your strippers be serving snacks?" And they're like, "Yeah, snacks, snacks." I think there was like a subliminal meaning there, but you know, my friend was like, "No, no, they just meant snacks, but whatever." I don't know. And what happened was, when he got there, there's this Chinese man, actually pretty handsome Chinese man, I'm not gonna lie, nice arms, just saying. This Chinese man, um, Jama was like talking to him about Asian dick. I don't know why. She just came up to him and started talking about Asian dick and he didn't really seem interested. And then she asked him if he had a wife and kids and he said no. And she blamed, told Jax that he killed Tara. It was that Chinese man, I guess, because she felt b better about saying it because he didn't have a wife and children. And when he said that, Jack's like the Chinese killed Tara and it guess becomes like a war. It's gonna be a war after this because they just like they're saying we didn't kill your wife and Gemma killed the wife. So uh, what happened was Jax people keep slamming doors. So what happened was Jax gets revenge, he gets the Chinese guy, he puts him Tara died with the the turkey carver, the pitchfork thing. And in the back of the head, and he does the same thing to the Chinese man, and that's how it ends. So, basically, it's got to be a war between that. You know, that's really crazy. Also, another thing that's kind of crazy. I hope you guys, you know, can you know keep watching this because I know a lot of people. The reason why I make these reviews is a lot of people maybe they aren't for the violence, they just want to know about it to have conversation, or um, they're not home. And they don't have they don't have a DVR, and I can just keep them up to date on that. So I do that. That's the reason why I do these videos, and I just love being a part of it. I really do. I will be having a Harley Davidson giveaway. It's a little giveaway of some stuff that I that I made related to Harley Davidson. Um, probably towards the middle of the season, I could do that. The middle of the season, and I'm just putting it together. I have to finish making it, and when I do, I will do that. It's an also be um, a video with this giveaway and anyone who wants to enter it, that's great. Also, it's a small giveaway though. It's a small one. But it's 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 good stuff. It's really cool stuff. Like novelty stuff for Harley Davidson. Okay, also I wanted to tell you guys something that's kind of funny that happened while watching this episode. I was watching this episode with my friend Kelly and for some reason I my ass ended up like on the remote and it was muted for a while, but we were talking about something, so I wasn't paying attention. And all of a sudden, I must have banged into it again with my ass, and um, all of a sudden, it was so loud. And all of a sudden, it was quiet for a while, and then when I banged into it, like not even realizing this, um, all of a sudden, it was so loud, like you could hear it throughout the house, was the part where the Chinese man was like, Are your strippers gonna serve snacks? And you could hear it throughout the house. It was so loud, like the house shook. Because we have like a really loud bass with this TV. And it was just like, are you stupid guys sort of snacks? And it was just funny. Like, we weren't expecting that. Like, what way did this come from? So, it was a late night. It was like 10.30 when this happened. It wasn't, that's not really a late night. But, you know. It was like, we were tired. So, we are just like, huh? Who said that? So, yeah, that was kind of funny. That happened. And I hope you keep watching my videos and stay awesome. Bye.